Hi, Ben here again. Uh, big question here. Will my car battery die from installing a dash cam? The short answer is no. A couple factors is how you install it, how you set the dash camera up. If you have a dash camera without low battery protection and you do not drive your vehicle regularly, as a result, there's a good chance you will kill your battery. Dash cameras sold at Safe Drive Solutions all have low battery protection. We recommend setting this for 12 volts or higher to protect your battery. It also involves that you need to make sure that you're hard wiring it or using an OBD2 cable. That's very important factors when it comes to uh, enabling parking mode or low battery protection on the unit. Oftentimes, uh, dash cameras get a bad rap for killing a battery and that's typically because people are taking a cigarette lighter, plugging it in, to a constant power outlet and then running the dash camera all night with absolutely no protection at all. So what ends up happening is that dash camera doesn't care if your vehicle's at 11 volts, it doesn't care if it's at 10 volts, it's just gonna keep running as long as it's within its operating voltage. The problem is all these newer vehicles have computers in them now. So that computer has a certain operating voltage that it wants to run at. Every vehicle is different, but at the end of the day, you know, if you have, if you're down to like 11 volts, there's a good chance that your vehicle might not start. While back in the day, like a, you know, a 1990s, you know, I don't know, old vehicle, you know, it'd be down to like 9, 10 volts and that thing will crank. You know, it, it didn't really have computers in the vehicle like it does now. It wasn't, didn't have all this lane departure warning and all these newer technologies that are available on the market now. So it didn't have as much uh, technology to protect. So that is one of the, the reasons why you know, your vehicle, you can't run it down so low like you used to be able to on an older vehicle. Um, I had a client say to me that uh, the dash camera killed their battery. I've had it uh, t t twice probably in the last year. Um, the one client uh, called me, said, hey, you know, your dash camera's killing my battery. So I'm like, okay, well, it's crazy. So I'll, you know, we're a mobile service. Let me come out and see what's going on. Let's check over our installation. Went, took a look at it. Um, you know, wiring's all correct. Uh, couldn't find anything wrong. Tested everything again. Thinking, hey, you know, you never know. Maybe I made a mistake. It happens. Um, Unplug the module. You know, the customer's like, hey, I'm not really driving the vehicle much. Just just unplug the module that, that connects in between the two so that I don't have to worry about my battery dying. Like, okay, no problem. Week later, I get a call again. Hey, the dash camera's killing my battery. I'm like, there's there's no way. Like, there's nothing hooked up to your vehicle. It, it's, it's impossible, right? Like, you know, I've seen some strange things over the years. But you never know. Hey, I'm thinking, hey, the first time for everything. Maybe maybe I made a mistake. Either way, um, I thought I was going to have to drive out there again. In turn, in turn, the client actually called me about an hour later, said, hey, you know what? This is my fault. Um, turns out I have a cargo light hidden in the uh, back of my the bed of my truck. And it's been left on for both the last three to four weeks. So, you know, that's more likely to have a vehicle die from uh, interior light being left on. I mean, I also had another, I also have a few other clients that have called me that they occasionally go out and um, listen to music in their vehicle without it running. Um, if you're doing that, um, keep in mind, you have your dash camera running, you have your audio system running, the alternator is not on and uh, charging your vehicle. So these are kind of things that are gonna you know, put more wear and tear on your vehicle. You should always recommend, I always recommend, uh, like I said, if you're gonna go out and listen to music or sit in your vehicle, you know, make sure to turn the vehicle on, let it run. Um, I know not a lot of people like to pay pay for gas, but at the same time, you don't wanna come out and have a dead battery and have to get boosted because, you know, the a couple bucks of gas to keep your vehicle warm, especially in the winter right now, um, it's well worth it instead of trying to hunt down, getting a tow truck or someone to boost you, you know, so much more work and hassle. Um, either way, uh, at the end of the day, dash cameras, when using low battery protection, should not kill your battery. 
if you are worried about uh, prolonged usage, like for some people want to have time lapse or motion detection on all night because they're worried about extreme vandalism or you know certain scenarios like that, um, I do recommend getting you know a backup battery. Uh, they may be you know on the pricier side, like you know they're usually three four hundred dollars plus installation for for a backup battery that will go in line. But if you are someone who's worried about having in like time lapse mode all night or motion detection on all night, this is a very valid feature because it isolates your dash camera system completely separate from your battery so that you don't have to worry about it. And then some of the batteries uh, will do like 18 to 24 hours recording, or we even have a bigger one. Uh, I don't even advertise it on the website. It's, it's a fair size, but it's 36 to 48 hours of record time. That's basically it here for answering will my car battery die from installing a dash cam. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us.